My cherished child, in the midst of life's profound challenges, you've navigated through rigorous trials, and now the moment has come for a shower of blessings to grace your path. Your life's journey resembles a rich tapestry, weaving valuable lessons with each twist and turn. Your bravery shines brightly as you confront unexpected hardships, a result of the adversary's attempts to sway you, much like the wind rustling through a field of wheat. During moments of deep despair, you boldly planted seeds. Moistened by the tears sheet in your pain, now open your eyes with unwavering faith as the earth trembles, signaling the emergence of a vibrant green shoot. Deep within, understand that this year holds the promise of a plentiful harvest, resurrecting seemingly withered seeds into blessings both exquisite and authentic. These blessings, free from sorrow, carry no burdens of tension and problems. I've strategically placed you in an environment where flourishing is destined. But always remember, I am your shepherd, and provisions flow when kindness is extended to others. Trust in me, yet do not place complete trust in mortal beings. Follow my commandments, discard doubt and pessimism, and rise with unwavering faith. Through your faith, grand miracles and wonders will unfold, grounded in the sanctity of my word, consistently manifesting in perfect synchronicity with my divine will. Your aspirations for change, success, and prosperity for your family, along with the infusion of compassion, wisdom, and truth in their lives, resonate deeply within your heart. Your heartfelt desire for transformation is recognized, and I assure you, I possess the power to reshape hearts and minds overnight. However, your unshakable faith remains a prerequisite. Embark on a journey into new realms, leaving behind the echoes of the past. Embrace the blessings that lie ahead, for the trial has concluded and your time has arrived. Today I shall orchestrate beautiful miracles in your life and that of your family. Do not let the closed door evoke distress for another. More splendid entrance is on the horizon. In the celestial realm, a spiritual battle is waged for your life and faith. Numerous adversaries assail your growth, both from without and within. Though unseen, I place individuals with divine knowledge in your path. Embrace their counsel with humility, devote time to prayer, and more revelations will unfold. Victory is certain, all obstacles will crumble. While instant deliverance is within my grasp, your valuing of faith, talents, and gifts is vital. Victories are collaborative endeavors. Discarding my word and faith exposes you to the adversary's attempts to tear you asunder. Your journey will extend far, blessing many, and your family will flourish in wisdom and humility. As we walk together, give me your hand prepared to ascend to the spiritual realm where destinies are shaped and lives transformed. Anticipate the multitude of positive outcomes and beautiful works awaiting you. As you listen, the foundations for a solid future are being laid for your home upon unwavering rock. Future generations shall know and serve me, each receiving unique gifts, talents, and professions. Today, Neither you nor your family are destined for spiritual poverty or emotional confusion, nor to traverse through struggles burdened by debt. Embrace my words, learn to dream, and enhance your faith. I shall guide you to confidently receive and manage the imminent blessings. I will transform your affliction into blessing, your sadness into strength, and I will remove your pain, healing your heart with my love. I want you to feel this tender embrace wherever you are, even if you are busy and surrounded by people. Take a few seconds and receive this gift by faith. It will bring calm to your soul and peace to your mind. I give you the power to control those roaring emotions that stir in your head. The news you receive alarms you, exhausts you, and makes you feel weak. 
But my child, believe me again, I am here. Nothing is happening. Your life continues. This too shall pass, and your future is sealed with a blessing from above. Your blessing will not be depleted by any enemy seeking to discourage you. I can turn every opposition into a blessing, every lack into abundance, and every illness in your family can be healed. I have the power, and my eternal desire is for you to receive all these wonders I have been promising you. I am God, not a mere human. I do not lie. My purpose remains the same as it has been since the beginning of time. I have come to save you, to give you eternal life, to guide you on the right path. I am the way, the truth, your life. I am your solution and your way out. So I ask you, with love, to hold fast to my promises, to not divert your gaze to the lies of this world. It pleases me to see you trust in me to see you pay no attention to the threats posed by provocateurs. They want to steal your peace, fill your mind with anger and confusion, with false ideas and erroneous feelings. They want you to make mistakes in your daily life, to be filled with guilt, and ultimately, to distance yourself from the truth, my love, and my presence. So now you know their intentions. I know you love me and won't allow anyone to take you away from the place where you are today, surrounded by affection and supreme love unparalleled in your life. You've endured much solitude, a lack of tenderness, but now I embrace you, console you with divine strength and encouragement, because I love you deeply, my child. You were so frightened, I heard your cries for help. You begged urgently for my mighty hand to intervene, believing I was angry with you and unwilling to assist. I want you to understand that you will always need me, even when everything is going well, even when prosperity surrounds you. You must never forget this. Do not lower your guard, for the enemy seeks to make you neglectful, to destroy your faith, to ruin your plans, and wound your soul. I will help you in this matter you face today. It moves me to see you sad and distressed, and it is not my will for you to live in torment. I do not want you to feel this way. So, instead of dwelling on the same thoughts over and over in your head, stop. Give me all your thoughts. If defeat crosses your mind, don't believe it. It's impossible. You will not be defeated because you believe in the omnipotent God. If discouragement tugs at your heart, do not open its doors, or you will make a grave mistake. One who believes in my power and awaits my blessing cannot be disheartened. If the will to live slips from your grasp, use your faith. You believe and serve a mighty, sovereign God, he will ignite the fire of divine love in your heart and fill you with a wonderful desire to keep fighting. Hold on to the promises I am giving you. Grasp on to these words I am speaking to you. Your enemies belittle you daily, shouting that you do not deserve life. But you should no longer listen to them. I want you to live, regardless of your situation. Very soon, you will once again savor, feel, and receive my blessing. Your situation will improve. The matters that trouble you will soon be resolved. Please, dear one, if you've listened this far, it's not by chance. Tell me that you believe in me, that you will keep fighting despite all odds, and that you will always love me. Your future is destined to change for the better. I will intervene in your life in a supernatural way. With your own eyes, you will soon witness a clear solution to your troubles. Don't be one of those who place their trust in negativity or the opinions of those who choose to dwell forever in spiritual misery. If you're hearing or reading these words, it's because I've granted you the intelligence. 
You've grown. You're ready. The door will soon open. I am not a false god who exists solely in your imagination. You know me. You know who I am. Do not doubt my word any longer. Each time you encountered trouble, I have hastened to your aid, cradling you in my loving hands. I've enveloped you with an abundance of love, granting you life even when your past seemed a calamity. Following each rescue, your present has unfailingly blossomed into a better existence. Permit the flame within your heart to blaze, for the dream I sowed is flourishing and evolving into a towering tree, offering shade, provision, and abundance for both you and those you cherish. Embrace the life I've bestowed upon you with love. Saturate yourself with heightened joy, for there is a multitude of wonders I am poised to unveil, altering your outlook significantly. Gain a clearer understanding of the intricacies of my plans for you. Despite stumbling in the past, rest assured that I have consistently stood by your side. I extended forgiveness, raised you from despair, and never allowed you to remain shattered or forsaken. Anticipate the arrival of new days. Bid farewell to your sorrows as your heart becomes a reservoir of boundless happiness. The forthcoming miracle will unfold before your very eyes. Profess your unwavering faith and commitment, declaring, I believe it. And as I incessantly express, I love you. There exist monumental blessings on the horizon for you. Extend me your hand, progress gradually, and you will discover a path leading to serenity and joy. The essence lies not in the swiftness of your journey, but in maintaining steadfastness and persistence. From where I'm standing, I see your miracle, and it's so grand and beautiful that when you see it, you will acknowledge that all the suffering you went through was worth it. Your family will understand that you were not wrong. You were right when you told them to trust the God who loves them so much. They will cry with repentance for sinning against me when you prayed for patience and strength, and they laughed at you, thinking you were making a mistake, losing your mind. But when they see my powerful response to your prayer, they will ask you for forgiveness. I chose you for something special, to be a true blessing to your family and your nation, not to make you rich and popular or like those who waste their time seeking the approval of others and are willing to do anything just to receive applause and praise. You are on a different level. Don't stoop to eat crumbs as they watch you. Look up. My throne is where you belong. With the perseverance and faith you have, you will reach and see how all the promises I've made to you come true. I will work miracles through you, but never expect anything in return from people. Be content with my love, knowing that I am always by your side and with the peace I give you. I know you understand, and you won't lose heart. Keep your gaze on the horizon as you walk step by step. You will leave the place where you currently reside. Do not fear the changes. Everything is for your good. I want you surrounded by people and resources that help you grow. If you walk with me, no one can defeat you, accuse you, or judge you because I will defend you. Oh, dear one, if only you could see with your spiritual eyes the heavenly armies encamped around you. If you could perceive my divine light illuminating your path and how your enemies fall. If you could understand how everything around you is working in your favor, like the sky and earth moving in your favor. Soon I will reveal to you in dreams such magnificent things that you will taste a piece of heaven on earth. I can move the entire universe for your blessing. That's what I do when I see sincere faith like yours, fully devoted, loving me with all your heart and soul. I admire your courageous faith. That's why I respond to you every day with a different message. 
but I remain the same. Each day will bring its own challenges, but my love will cover you and never change. Before you go about your daily tasks, I like to tell you that I love you, but I desire to hear it from your own lips. I want to hear you, my beloved Jesus. I love you too, and there's nothing you ask that my love cannot give you. I will restore what belongs to you, your dignity and the place you deserve. I have a better life for you if you give me your heart and accept the healing and forgiveness my sweet love offers. The promises are already written. You carry them in your heart. So if you're going to believe me, do it with all the strength of your soul and mind. Don't be like those who talk about my love, but don't truly believe it. They pay more attention to people's judgments and submit to the punishments and disdain of others. Many want to subject you to their selfish way of thinking and claim to love you, but seek to steal from you. They impose impossible rules that they themselves do not follow. They dress in robes of righteousness and false holiness, claiming to be better than you. Whatever you do, you end up being the villain, the guilty one in their eyes. I am calling you to complete freedom to sleep in peace tonight. My Holy Spirit will speak to you. He will heal your soul and mind. He will break all the chains you still carry. And in the morning, when you wake up, you will be free forever. Your happiness will no longer depend on people's opinions. At last, you will be who you truly are, my daughter, my son. Wise and intelligent, with a gentle character, perseverance, and courageous, with a fervent, powerful, and strong faith. Hold on to me in your worst moments, when people offend you and your feelings are hurt, when everything around you darkens and you think there's no reason to go on. Remember, you are mine, and you must aspire to greater things. Do not settle for living forever in a corner crying under that roof where you only suffered disrespect. But I love you, I help you, forgive you, restore you, and can give you a better future. Powerful gifts and talents, peace, joy, and health. Take your place, stand with dignity. You are a princess, a prince forever protected by your mighty Heavenly Father. Tell me with your lips, I believe in you, beloved Father. I have a miracle with your name in my hands. That matter that you and I know will be resolved. Even your own family will be surprised. Many acted around you, secretly underestimating you and openly criticizing you. They will kneel, asking for forgiveness for hurting you. They didn't respect you, but they lost the opportunity they were seeking when they discarded you. I will take you to a better environment, raise you to a higher spiritual level, where there are no quarrels or envy, where true love still exists. There, they will appreciate the gifts and talents I've given you. They will support you in your growth and prosperity. Don't fear prosperity. Only wicked hearts immediately think of material wealth. I'm talking about provision, peace, happiness, health, and family harmony. No debts, no sorrows. Tell me now, with all your heart, my God, I believe in you. I trust you, and with patience I await my blessing. I promise you that what you've asked for will come. You've always believed in me and you know that all your prayers in the name of Jesus will be answered. I must announce to you new times, abundant rains, open heavens, blessings overflowing, filling every corner of your life and your home. You and your family will overflow with peace and happiness. All of this is possible for those who believe in me, 
who keep my word in their hearts and wait for the blessing without fainting or retreating. I only ask that you be aware that you need to remain steadfast and patient. It takes nine months for a life to be born. A seed must fall into fertile ground, be broken and transformed before it can germinate and grow. Your blessings are valuable and powerful. It takes time and effort for everything to align for your good. That deceptive friendship pulling you toward failure will disappear today. A powerful miracle will occur if you commit to obey me and hold on to my love. But do not be like others who prefer to wallow in the mud and accept the lies of their destroyer. They chase after false promises, seek material wealth, vain positions, corrupt control, and mortal fame. They think my presence and power are with those who publicly display everything they do, how they spend, what they wear, and what they eat. What a sinister lie. What a cruel deception. They despise my word. They don't accept me as I am, as the one who came into the world as a servant and gave his life on a cross. But you have opened your heart to me and I want to do wonderful things in you. Clothe your soul in humility. Reject the offerings of the devourer. I will assist you. I will give you more peace and wisdom so that you won't tire of waiting so that complaints and doubts won't taint your lips, destroying your faith and happiness. Enemies will be defeated. Obstacles will be overcome. I don't promise an easy life, but I assure you that faith and strength will never be lacking. Fill yourself with courage, knowing that your victory is guaranteed. Receive my sacred promises, which bring healing to your body peace to your mind, and strength to your heart. I want to break the chains of discouragement and depression, the discouragement weighing heavily on your shoulders, making you doubt my words. Let your faith remain serene and strong. Do not look to the sides. Focus on me and keep your gaze forward. You will get there. It's not an eternity away. Though your mind and body may tell you the days are dragging on and you're tired of waiting. But you've grown. You don't let your emotions dictate your life. You know I desire to bless your family and clear the path for them to face whatever comes without fear or dread. My beloved child, I shall guide you on the path of wisdom and lead you along the straightest of roads. Wisdom, my dear friend can be defined as the art of making sagacious choices grounded in knowledge and life's experiences. It is of paramount importance to unravel the truth and apply it, particularly in the realm of decision-making. You see, I am the way, the truth, and the life, a guide par excellence. I am also the Word, eternally in the presence of God, and indeed, I am God. The path to wisdom found within the pages of the written word provides guidance of the utmost efficacy. Therefore, devote yourself to the study of my word and remain close to me as you traverse this world. Seek out and follow the straightened lanes I have prepared for you. Mind you, these lanes may not always be paved with ease, but if you walk in close proximity to me, your journey will be significantly less circuitous. When you peer ahead, you may perceive perplexing twists and turns, but when you look back upon the path you've traversed, you will see that I have walked with you every single step, shielding you from harm, removing obstacles, and smoothing your way. In the midst of this restless and tumultuous world, Tranquility becomes increasingly elusive. It becomes imperative that you contend for moments of stillness and solace with me. Distractions assail you from every direction as you attempt to sit in quiet communion, 
yet our intimate connection is a treasure worth the fight. Do not surrender. Set aside uninterrupted moments to be in my presence. Focus on a cherished scripture and take deep breaths to unwind your weary soul. Remember I am Emmanuel, God with you. Rest in my serene company, releasing your anxieties. Be still, my beloved, and acknowledge that I am God. The longer you fix your gaze upon me, the more you will find delight in my magnificent splendors and place your trust in my sovereign authority. Even when the earth trembles and the mountains crumble into the heart of the sea, I remain your refuge. In my presence you find transcendent stability. As you contemplate the vastness of my power and glory, your perspective shall shift and your problems will appear diminutive. Indeed, in this world, adversity is a certainty, but take courage. I have already conquered the world. Strive to become increasingly receptive and responsive to my presence, for I am always actively engaged in your life. Instead of endeavoring to bend my will to your own desires, relax and observe the marvelous work I am already undertaking. Live in a state of readiness, eagerly anticipating my perfect timing. The more you engage in dialogue with me, the more convinced you shall become of my proximity. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to me, and I shall draw near to you. If I am on your side, who can stand against you? Beloved, I assure you, I am unquestionably on your side, for you are my devoted follower. Understand, this does not imply that no one will ever oppose you. Rather, it signifies that having me on your side is the most pivotal truth of your existence. Regardless of the circumstances life may throw your way, you reside in the realm of victory. I have already triumphed through my death and resurrection. I am the eternal victor, and you partake in my conquest, no matter the adversity you encounter on your journey towards heaven. Recognizing the absolute security of your future can revolutionize your perspective. Instead of living defensively, constantly guarding against suffering, you learn to follow me boldly, wherever I may lead. I am training you not only to seek my face and heed my guidance, but also to revel in the thrill of surrendering yourself to me. Remember, I am your unwavering help in times of trouble. My presence shall accompany you, and I shall grant you reprieve. Regardless of your whereabouts or the path you tread, I am with you. This proclamation may seem astonishing, yet it is undeniably true. My unseen presence is more substantial than the people who surround you in the flesh. To perceive me, you must look with the eyes of your heart and communicate with me through prayer. Confident that I truly hear and care. I assure you, your prayers hold great significance even though you may not always witness their immediate impact or fulfillment according to your timetable. I incorporate the prayers of believers into my sovereign governance of your world in ways far too intricate for finite minds to comprehend. Bear in mind, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Given that my methods of working in the world often appear enigmatic, it is crucial to carve out moments of stillness and acknowledge that I am God. Sit quietly in my presence, inhale my peace, and I shall grant you rest. Embrace the strength of my glory. When you find yourself grappling with enduring unrelenting challenges, resist the temptation to grimace and merely bide your time in a gloomy disposition. 
Such passivity and negativity are not the response I desire from you. I have cherished you with an everlasting love. Contemplate this glorious truth. I am with you always. You can build the entirety of your life upon this unshakable foundation. The world you inhabit is in a constant state of flux. It offers no solid ground upon which to stand. Thus I challenge you to remain attuned to my presence as you journey through your day. You may not achieve this perfectly, but when you ask, I shall aid you. Pray. Jesus, keep me conscious of your presence. Let these words resonate within your heart and mind, drawing you back to me whenever your thoughts wander. The more of me you invite into your life by staying close to me, the more joy you shall find and the more I can bless others through you. Love is patient. Note that the very first attribute the Apostle Paul uses to describe love is patience. I hold this quality dear in the hearts of my followers, even though it may not always be prominently displayed in the portrayals of love in the 21st century. Patient individuals maintain their composure while enduring extended waits or confronting challenging people and situations. I encourage you to introspect, observing how you respond to moments of waiting and adversity. This self-examination will serve as a barometer of your patience, which is in essence an expression of love. Patience is ranked fourth among the fruits of the Spirit. My spirit stands ready to nurture this crucial character trait within you, especially as you beseech him. Some believers may be hesitant to pray for patience, fearing that I will respond by subjecting them to severe suffering and trials. However, suffering serves a noble purpose in my kingdom, and trials are a part of the journey. They come to prove the authenticity of your faith resulting in praise, glory, and honor unto me. Allow my peace to safeguard your heart and mind. Remember, I am near and rejoice in my enduring presence. Dedicate ample time to be with me, presenting your requests with a heart filled with gratitude. This is the path to receiving my peace, a peace that surpasses all understanding. It is a collaborative effort one in which you and I work together. You never confront life's challenges alone. For those who believe in me, solitude is an illusion, a perilous one that may lead to despondency or self-pity. The adversary, along with his minions, endeavors tirelessly to obscure your awareness of my presence. It is imperative that you recognize and resist their assaults. Wage this battle with my potent word, which is alive and dynamic. Read it, ponder it, commit it to memory, and speak it aloud. Even in moments when you feel alone, rest assured that you can converse freely with me, trusting that I am always by your side. Rest assured, I am benevolent to those who await me with hope and expectation. Beseech me to unveil your eyes to the abundance I have in store for you. Such awareness equips you to live responsively, ever ready to fulfill my will. All too often, my followers fail to discern the numerous blessings I bestow upon them. They become so preoccupied with pursuing other pursuits that they overlook the blessings unfolding before them, or those on the horizon. They forget that I am the Sovereign God, and the orchestration of events rests solely within my purview. Trust me enough to allow me to lead you, my dear companion. Consider life as a dance. One partner leads and the other follows. Any deviation from this order results in confusion and awkwardness. Therefore, dance with me, my beloved. Follow my lead gracefully as I guide you through the intricate steps of your existence. 
understand this. I hold the best intentions for you. They may at times appear radically different from your own hopes and expectations, but rest assured, they are undeniably good. I am the light, devoid of even a trace of darkness. Seek my light in all circumstances, for I am abundantly present in every moment. Your task is to remain open to me and to my ways. This sometimes necessitates surrendering your own plans and dreams. Remember and wholeheartedly believe that my way is flawless, irrespective of the trials it may entail. I am a shield to all who take refuge in me. When you find yourself afflicted or filled with fear, turn to me and declare, Lord, I take refuge in you. I may not shield you from all the trials you are meant to face, for you play a pivotal role in this world. However, I protect you from far more dangers and trials than you can fathom. So, strive diligently to live out the life I have assigned to you, all while exulting in your joyful dependence upon me. Your soul shall find profound satisfaction in this endeavor. Come to me, my beloved. I extend a continuous invitation for you to draw near. Find solace in my presence and fix your thoughts upon me. Relax and listen as my love whispers tenderly in your heart. Acknowledge and embrace the profound truth that I, Jesus, hold sovereignty over the circumstances of your life. And within these circumstances lie abundant opportunities. Do not replicate the actions of the man who, in his discontent with his circumstances, buried his master's talent. Instead of surrendering to the path of least resistance and placing blamey on his challenging situation, he failed to seize the inherent opportunity within it. Comprehend that the more strenuous your circumstances, the greater the potential for spiritual and personal growth. I willingly impart to you the extraordinary strength of my glory, a strength that is not only powerful, but profoundly transformative. The Spirit Himself empowers you, infusing strength into the very core of your being. Furthermore, the boundless strength of my glory equips you to endure through challenges that may seem insurmountable. This reservoir of divine power is so vast that it not only sustains you, but also overflows, bringing joy into your life. Understand that without a connection to me, your accomplishments hold little substance. On days when the tasks before you appear overwhelming, remember that I am by your side, ready to assist you. Take a moment to immerse yourself in the warmth of my loving presence. In the quietness whisper, surely the Lord is in this place. Relax, acknowledging that you are not meant to navigate life self-sufficiently. I intentionally designed you to require and depend on me. Approach me as you are, without shame or pretense. Engage me in heartfelt conversations about the challenges looming ahead and the inadequacies you may feel. Implore me to illuminate the way forward. Instead of rushing forward impulsively, Take measured steps in trust, maintaining communion with me. Visualize the metaphor. I am the vine, and you are a branch of my existence. As you remain intricately connected to me, my life flows through you, enabling you to bear abundant spiritual fruit. Release concerns about achieving worldly success and focus on bearing fruit in my kingdom. This involves carrying out the good works I ordained for you long ago. Therefore, live in close proximity to me, ever prepared to carry out my will, and rest assured that I shall unveil the path before you, guiding you towards a life filled with purpose and divine fulfillment. Amen.